friends so let's get started go to your file menu uh, if in case you don't you are not seeing the file menu in your solveworks mouse over to the solveworks logo and click on this thumbpin icon and then you will have this menu permanently so go to file menu click on new select part click ok and now select your right pin from your feature tree go to normal do it click on the sketch tab and then click sketch now you have entered the sketch window so now you can sketch um, using your lines, circles, spline, ellipse and any, anything so now I will grab my center point slate slot command and click on the origin and and I will click again here and now here I will use my smart dimension tool to give that dimension to it I will give it uh, set it to 400 mm smart dimension tool is used to give dimension to any line or to any arc or to, or to it is also used to give uh, sometimes angle between the between different lines you will learn you will learn them later the function of this smart dimension uh, now let's escape on the keyboard to drop the tool and now I will so now you have the extended boundary of your component which you which you have to make but now but you know that uh, I have to make holes in it so that it can get fitted with the other same component so to make holes I will grab my circle command circle tool and I will draw three circles one here one here and one here you might notice that these three circles are of different sizes and I want all of them to be of the same size so one way to do so is again use smart dimension click on the smart dimension click on the circle and then click here and set it diameter maybe 40 and then again click here click here 40 click here click here 40 but sometimes using the smart dimension is very tedious and is it is a very long process because uh, what happens if there are 10 or 20 or 30 number 30 circles of the different sizes and you want all of them to be the same size you cannot use smart dimension in that case because it it will be a very long process then so another way to do the, this thing is grab your circles by holding on the control key click on the this circle click on this circle and click on this circle now here in the left uh, pane box click on the equal here what does uh, what it does is it makes all of the three all of these circle three circles equal in radius so now if you change the radius of one of them the radius of other two automatically get changed so isn't it isn't it helpful so use it as much as you can Let's practice it so now i will get, give dimension to any one of them and the other two automatically get changed i set it to 50 and uh, I, I will press escape on my keyboard to drop the tool like this and now to exit that sketch uh, to save the sketch and exit it you need to click on this icon and if you don't want to save the sketch you, you then you have to click here but in my case i have to save sketch and exit it then i will click here so now you will see that the sketch is no longer highlighted because i have exited the sketch exited the sketch so now i will go to features tab click on extrude boss base i will select my sketch i will select these three circles here and uh, what uh, actually does this extrude boss base command does is it adds to, uh, material into the 2d sketch to convert it into a 3d component uh, and you can increase or decrease the width of your component by uh, by giving it a custom number here for example if you want to set its width to 15 mm and enter 15 here press enter or like this 
in my case I will set it to 8 mm and then press uh, press down click on this green arrow here you will uh, I will tell you the function of these different commands later on when we will be developing some advanced components you don't need it right now so let's just click here and you will see that you have just created a new component your first component actually so isn't it great just evaluate it see how is it looking so now we are done with the first part now let's move to the second part 